The visual effect graph is a powerful tool to create stunning visuals in your Unity projects. Inspired by leading software from the field of film visual effects, the visual effect graph adapts many of the same powerful features for the creation of real-time visual effects. In this video, we're going to compare the visual effect graph to the existing particle system and demonstrate the advantages of GPU simulated particles. We will also provide you with some use case examples and let you know how to get started with this powerful new tool. Intended for everyone from VFX newcomers to experienced VFX artists and programmers, Unity's graph view uses nodes and blocks to provide an intuitive workflow that's quick to learn, yet powerful when mastered. The node system will be familiar to users who have used Unity's shader graph tool, though not identical. Nodes connect together to perform a series of calculations that input into blocks. Blocks represent the order of operation applied to the particles. In Unity 2018.3, the visual effect graph will not immediately be replacing the existing particle system, and so the two systems will coexist and have their own specific use cases. The primary distinction between the two systems is the hardware on which they run. The particle system is simulated on the CPU, whereas the visual effect graph moves many of the calculations onto compute shaders, which run on the GPU. In this comparison, we can see how the visual effect graph has the advantage of simulating millions of particles, can compute complex simulations such as fluid simulations, and read frame buffers, whereas the particle system can use the underlying physics system and read back from gameplay information. Another thing to keep in mind is device compatibility, as the required compute shaders are not currently supported on some devices, such as most mobile phones. It's worth noting that the visual effect graph is only supported by the high definition render pipeline in Unity 2018.3, with planned support for the lightweight render pipeline coming in future releases. Examples of effects that would be best suited for the visual effect graph would be environment lit smoke, fluid simulations, or detailed spell effects. Examples of effects that would be best suited for the particle system would be debris, sparks, or projectiles. The visual effect graph has been tested and optimized for real-time performance, creating complex visual effects similar to what we might expect in a pre-rendered film. The visual effect graph comes with many helpful features to enable a smooth workflow, including an option to enable or disable autocompile. The blackboard stores properties that can be modified in the inspector. Parameter binders input asset data directly into the visual effect, for example a game object's transform, scale, and rotation. Assets such as point caches, vector fields, and sign distance fields are all supported, allowing you to represent volumes, collisions, forces, and other custom data types. An example of this would be authoring a skull sign distance field externally, and then importing it into Unity to create a magical effect. The Visual Effect Graph team is developing a set of tools to generate these data types, which can also be used in conjunction within other areas of Unity. For example, the particle system. The tools include the image sequencer, which provides you with the means to process sequences of images and generate texture assets such as flipbook texture sheets. And the point cache bake tool, which allows for the generation of 2D or 3D point caches from textures or meshes respectively. You can also author these data types in other digital content creation tools, for example, SideFX Houdini software. For more information about the visual effect graph, see the link in the description below.